breastfeeding positions for health workers. The way a mother holds her baby can make it more or less easy for her baby to feed effectively. There is no single correct way. Encourage mothers to try different positions to find out what feels most comfortable and also positions her nipple deeply in her baby's mouth. This will let the baby get more milk. This video will show basic points important for any position and then demonstrate several common positions that have worked well for many mothers and babies. A baby will feed most easily if he's held securely, facing his mother with his body in a line. When a mother reclines, gravity helps keep her baby pressed against her. The touch of his chin against her body triggers the baby to open his mouth wide, helping him attach deeply. In an upright position, the mother plays a more active role in helping her baby feed. She brings her baby to her, holding him close, facing and touching her body. The baby's head is directly facing her breast with his nose opposite the nipple. When he opens his mouth wide, she brings him onto her breast. To help him swallow most easily, the baby's neck is straight, not twisted, with his ear, shoulder and hip in a line. Holding her baby close makes him feel secure, letting him focus on feeding. Good posture is important in upright positions. The mother will be more comfortable sitting up straight with something under her feet. If the baby's hand is between the baby and the mother, moving it down will keep the closeness. Now, we'll demonstrate some common positions a mother can try. The recline position can continue from birth. The mother leans back. She's upright enough to have eye contact with her baby, but leaning far enough back that her whole baby's body rests securely against her. A mother's chest is the special comfort zone for her baby, especially held skin to skin. This closeness helps calm the baby and stimulates his feeding instincts. He will often find his way to the nipple, but it's also fine to guide the baby. Be patient as the baby settles. He may take a few minutes to find the nipple and attach. This is a comfortable way for many mothers to breastfeed and can be easy for babies to attach deeply, particularly during the early days and weeks. After a cesarean birth, the baby can be positioned across the mother's chest away from her incision. The next position is often called the cross cradle hold. This position helps to support the baby's body and is a good one for a mother first learning to breastfeed. The mother holds the baby close to her bringing his bottom tight to her chest with her elbow and supporting his head by placing her thumb and fingers around his neck and an open hand under his head. The baby's weight is supported by her forearm. His nose is positioned opposite the nipple. The baby's head is free to tip back naturally as he attaches to the breast. Hugging the baby in tight improves the attachment. Here, the mother holds the baby close to her, supported by her arm, 
Her hand supports the baby's neck and head. The finger is moved to keep the baby's head free to tilt back. This position is also helpful when feeding small or sick babies. The third position is often called the cradle hold. This position is most familiar but gives the mother less control over her baby's head. The mother holds the baby in her arm with his head just below the bend in her elbow and her hand supporting his bottom. She moves the baby over until he faces the breast and his nose is opposite the nipple. Hugging the baby in tight improves the attachment. Straightening the baby's body and hugging her close to the mother improves this position. The underarm hold is next. In this position, the baby is well supported and easily positioned. The mother's thumb and fingers are around the baby's neck, supporting his head. She positions the baby beside her, tucked under her arm. She pushes the baby's bottom against her side. Her arm supports his weight. With the baby's face towards her breast and his nose opposite the nipple, the mother brings him to her breast with a quick arm movement. This position gives the mother a good view of her baby's attachment. The mother positions her baby along her side. Putting a blanket or cushion under the baby can be more comfortable. Moving the baby's legs further to the back improves the attachment. This position can be helpful for mothers with large breasts after a cesarean birth and for babies having difficulty attaching deeply. And last is the side lying position. Lying on her side helps her mother to rest. She positions her baby so he's facing her with his nose level with the nipple. She pulls the baby close with her hand on his back. The baby faces the breast. His head is free to tilt back. The mother's hand on his upper back pulls him in close. This is a good position just after giving birth, at night, and after a cesarean delivery. Here are a few positions for holding twins. Cushions can be helpful to position the babies. Here, the babies are held in front. In this position, the mother supports their heads while their legs are behind her. Remember, the baby's body is held close, facing the mother with his neck and body in line. A good position is comfortable for the mother and helps the baby attach well and feed effectively. Position the baby's nose to the nipple as he's brought on the breast. 